Comedy, Big Frog! Yeah. I don't need no music. How's everybody doing? All right. Yeah, I'm doing good, but um, I was almost doing pretty shitty because earlier today, I rolled up on a cop at a four-way stop. So it was me, a youngster in an Impala, and then the cop. And I was like, oh man, where's a black dude when you need one? <laughs> because I knew he was going to stop one of us, right? It was like I was on a game show, and the game show was called Pick an Essay. It's like, Officer Nelson, in front of you are two cars. One of them contains a convicted felon in possession of a loaded firearm. The other driver has done nothing wrong other than being Latino. Are you ready to pick an essay? He said, well, Gene, the fat one looks a little old to be gangbanging. I don't think it's him. I'm going to pick the youngster in the Impala. Wah, wah, wah. Officer Nelson, you have pulled over the innocent driver and let the real criminal go free. You will not collect $200, you will not pass go, and you will not get the rest of the day off. So basically the cops fucked up, and that's why I'm here today. You know, the cops always hated me, which is crazy, because I love donuts. You didn't think I bought these big old titties at Walmart, did you? But you know, I don't like like no fancy ass donut place, like no Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme or no shit like that. I like the ghetto ass donut place. It's like the place I go to, I'm not really sure what the name of it is because some of the lights in the side are out, but I'm pretty sure it's called These Nuts. <laughs> so I go in there, right, and the lady that works in there is Asian lady, real mean. And so as soon as I walk in, she's always like, one dozen or two, one dozen or two. I'm like, dozen? Man, I just wanted some donut holes. She said, donut hole. You always donut hole. And I'm thinking, nah, bitch, you're the donut hole. And these nuts. So I get my donuts, right? And I can go that way, but I know the police station is that way. And I don't want to play Pick an Essay again. I can go that way, and my weed guy lives that way, and I got donuts. So of course I'm going this fucking way, right? I get to my weed guy's house, and he's outside in the front yard, just like watering the grass, kind of like all in nature and shit. Because that's what people don't know about like professional stoners, is they do normal people shit. They just do it real slow. <laughs> so you go to your weed guy's house, and he might be like having a barbecue or playing video games or taking a nap. You go to your drunk friend's house, you don't know what the fuck's gonna be going on when you get over there. Like he could be like, hey Holmes, haven't seen you in a long time. I said, I fucking love you, man. Or he could already be outside in his underwear and he's fucking yelling at the neighbor and she's like, I'm gonna call the police! And he's like, fuck you, bitch! And you gotta roll up there and get him out of there before the cops come? And nobody's in the mood for donuts after that. Nobody's in the mood to talk some shit. So, like Basie told you, I am Big Frog, AKA Frog Delicious, AKA Frog Nasty, AKA the Gangster of Love. But uh, people ask me, how did I get that name? How did I get that name, Big Frog? And uh, the answer is pretty simple, is that you don't actually get to pick your name when you get jumped in. <laughs> that shit is bestowed upon you, you know? Like, I thought I'd be something cool, like Stalker, Hitman. <laughs> they just said, man, you look like a fucking frog. <laughs> And then they beat my ass. <laughs> so I just had to accept it. You know, you accept the name, you accept the ass beat. It's not that bad, though, because, you know, I could have been Smurf. <laughs> we had a lot of Smurfs back in those days. 
But you know, frog's not that bad. I think it fits. You know, the name, the gangster name that you get, it usually fits. Like, if you meet a motherfucker named Psycho, that motherfucker should already be in prison. Because he didn't get that name on the Xbox. He got that name from some motherfucking Psycho motherfucker. But, um, yeah, man, the, the name usually fits. You know, like, um, like, uh, I was talking shit to this one dude one time. Like, aggressively talking shit to him. And then his homies were like, get him, boxer. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe I need to chill. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed here today. I mean, you know, it's not like I'm afraid of the fight. Well, let me fight Smurf. I'll fuck Smurf up. The name usually fits, though. Every gang has at least one Johnny. Like, we had three Johnnies. We had Johnny Red, Johnny Boy, and Johnny Sausage. And they called him Johnny Sausage because they said his dick looked like one of those little breakfast sausage leaves, all brown and shrivelly. I don't know for a fact I didn't see it. That's just what they said. But then he used to tell chicks that they called him Johnny Sausage because he had a big dick. Well, they were in for a surprise. Not a big surprise. A little brown one. You know, sometimes the name that you get, it don't fit no more. Like it used to fit, but now it doesn't because you can't be Flacco forever. <laughs> you know, eventually, you're going to be Gordo. Like, you know, La Shy Girl? She ain't that shy no more. She's kind of a hoe now. Like, she's not invited to the kids' parties and shit. And she might fuck with the dads. But, um... But yeah, hey, that's the way it goes though, man. I mean, you know, the homie Lonely got married. Fucking Shorty, like fucking 6'4 now. Fucking Dreamer, fucking Tweaker now. No more dreams, neither kind. But uh, yeah, the homie Bullet, he got shot. <laughs> That's ironic. I think. I don't fucking know. I'm really sure. But <laughs> yeah, man. The the one cool thing about looking like this is I get to audition for all the gangster movies. I don't get none of the parts. They all go to the same two dudes. The dude from fucking Friday and fucking Hector. <laughs> Yeah, that motherfucker. He gets all the parts. But I get to audition. So, uh, so my agent uh, sends me in for this audition. He says, uh, it's only two lines, but it's for a movie, and you might get it. And I'm like, all right, that sounds cool. He said, uh, but when you go in there, I want you to put this on. I'm like, fuck, are you sure, man? He's like, yeah, it's totally going to make you more authentic. I said, fuck, all right, man, I guess, you know what you're doing. So I go in there, right, and the casting agent is a chick, which makes me pretty much think I got the part already, right? <laughs> but I go in there and she says, okay, um, you're going to be auditioning for the part of Mexican Gangster number three. Are you ready? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, actually, hold on a sec. <laughs> so 
action I learned about you. She said, and action. And I said. I said, don't ask me for nothing, Holmes. She said, wow, that was really good. Very authentic. I said, cool, cool. She said, okay, um, well, we're going to be looking at some other people, but if you get it, we're going to need you to be in L.A. for about a week. Is that all right? I go, yeah, yeah, that's cool. She said, uh, and we're probably going to need you to shave your head all the way. Is that okay? I go, yeah, yeah, that's no problem. She said, we might need you to wear an L.A. Chargers jersey. Yeah! Let's just say I didn't get the part. That's my time, big up, big talk. Give it up for one more.